What is up, YouTube? Long time no see, speak here. Would I make a video last month? Just because time got away from me and coronavirus and just 2020 and I can make all the excuses, but I just didn't make a video last month. So here we are. It is now the end of July and I will have this video up by the end of the month. So in today's video, guys, first of all, welcome back or welcome to my channel, Pixie Dust and Spirit Alchemy. And this is my guest star, Bella, who comes in when she please, pleases. Mm, she's camera shy, I suppose. Just looking for a good spot to take a cat nap. But guys, today's video, I'm excited to make this video because I recorded a whole video for y'all like last week about this subject and I was getting ready to edit it only to find that I had a stain in the very dead center of my shirt. So I like triple checked today because <laughs> I'm not about to post a video with just a big ass stain on my shirt because that's not classy so here we go so today's video guys i've had a lot of comments in um my some of my videos um about people wanting to know my experience on 72 angels of magic my experience with the book and i've gotten some questions about the shem talisman so i am here to answer those questions and share my experience with you all and hope that it is enjoyable for you to hear so here we go so if you're not familiar already, the book that I am referring to is this 72 Angels of Magic. It is another Gallery of Magic book by Damon Brand. And I would like to really quickly thank the last two angels that I have worked with, Yelahia and Lavael, um, for helping me to achieve what I wanted to achieve and come to terms with the answers I was seeking or the objects I was trying to manifest, which I will get to in a second. Now, first of all, the Shem Talisman. I'm going to post a picture of the Shem Talisman in this video because <sighs> buy the book. I always recommend purchasing the books, you know, supporting the authors. Um, and they have the talisman in this book, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they got it in the book. So, and if you, you know, some of you may already be familiar with what it is. So just, just that being said, I'm just not going to show it in this video. But I will go over what it means. So I, I did a little bit of research on it. Um, first of all, some commonly asked questions that I will answer now. You only need to charge the Shem, excuse me, Shem Talisman one time. Only need to charge it once. And for those of you that are like, what? Charge? What does that mean? Um, read the book and you'll figure it out. Before you work with any of the angels, you need to charge the Shem Talisman. Because what the Shem Talisman is, is it's used as a way to contact the angels directly. You cannot do the angel rituals without doing the master ritual. I believe that's what it's called, the master ritual with the Shem Talisman first. Once you do that, then it's ready to be used. Um, you don't need to know what all the Hebrew letters in there mean. I mean, I am learning a little bit of Hebrew, but I don't know. I'm not fluent. I can't read it, you know, so I don't know what all the letters in there mean, but it's irrelevant. It does not matter. If you want to know, then I did some research. So the outer lines of text on the talisman are, or the outer, outer circle of the Shem talisman are lines of text from Exodus. The inner circle um, are a list of divine names, angel names, I believe, or just names of God. Um, so divine names. And then the inner, um, inner circle, the inner triangle, is it a triangle? No, it's in the inner circle. Um, they are Psalms to connect with Raziel, or it's a, it's a text of Psalm used to contact Raziel, who is you know, associated with the Shem Talisman and who was also one of the angels used to introduce you to the other multitude of angels. So that's what the Shem Talisman is. It is very important to have, to know what it is, but it's not important to know every detail. You know, the, the Gallery of Magic even says that in the book. They're like, here it is, you know, here's what you need to know about it. Here's what you don't need to know about it. But if you wanna know these things that you don't need to know, you are welcome to figure it out on your own. It's not like it's a dangerous sigil or anything, or talisman, but it is powerful, and I don't know, I just don't want that to go in the wrong hands. I don't wanna be responsible for providing you guys with things that you may do bad things with. Anyways, it's out there. It's free to reach if you really want it. So, and that's all it is used for, like I said, for like the third time, is used to contact the angels. So secondly, 
The angels that I gave thanks to earlier, Yelahia and Lavael, I used both this year, both this year, and both had the most successful results with. Um, the angel that I used first was Yelahia. And, oh gosh, I wonder if I have it on here. Yelahia. Oh, I don't. Hold on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yelahia is known for his, well, I already know it. I don't need to look it up. But his, Yelahia is known for the, his power to manifest objects. So, earlier this year, in January, which literally feels like two years ago, but earlier this year, I needed a car. And I've been needing a car for a while. And I was kind of set. I was talking to a friend of mine who was selling his old used Mercedes, and I was pretty set on buying that car. I was like, you know, I had the money saved, and the only thing is it was old and used, and it's a Mercedes. So maintenance on that is going to be expensive if it needs it, and it would have needed it pretty soon. But I was desperate, and I was like, I just need a car. I just need the first thing that I can get. And it was available and it was nice enough and i was like this will get me from point a to point b whatever so then one day i just had the idea i don't remember if it was a friend that suggested it or or just divine guidance or something but i had the idea to open this book and see if there is an angel in there that i could call on to help me get a car and i said a little prayer you know and opened the book and I opened directly to Yelahia's page. And this angel is known for a few other things, um, not only the power of manifesting objects, but that is the one that I used him for because I was like, well, I need a car. And not only was it the power to manifest objects, but the power to make a smart decision in finding this the best car for me. So, Fast forward a little bit, I begin the ritual. It takes 11 days and you're supposed to begin on a Thursday and end on a Sunday. Sometime, you know, if that's too difficult, it's not set in stone, but I do usually try to at least do that much. Um, sometimes it's hard to do the ritual, you know, back to back to back for 11 days. That's okay, you don't need to, but for best results, they want you to start on a Thursday and end on a Sunday. And conveniently, when I found out about this angel, it was on a Thursday and I was like, yes, so let's go. So. I do the ritual and I make you make a petition. You write a petition to the angel saying what you want, what you desire and what you're willing to do, you know, or that you are willing to do the research and do the work um, for this angel to go off of. Because I wanted a car and I asked Elahia to help me find the car that would be best suited for me. You know, the, the best deal out there. But in the meantime, I'm actively looking for cars, right? I'm actively like going out and test driving things and looking on websites and, and taking the action necessary for me to find the car that I want, that I needed, that would be best. So as I'm doing that, all that shopping and everything, you know, um, there was one day my dad and I went and we were driving this one car and I was pretty set on buying it. It wasn't the nicest, but it was like, it's, better than that Mercedes at least, and I'm happy with it. But the interest rate on it was so high, so high. And I was, I'm was i a first time car buyer, I was. And um, so it was higher for me too. And my dad was like, you know, I'm not gonna tell you not to buy this car, but I'm also not gonna tell you to buy the car. And I was like, well, thanks dad. Like, what did I bring you out here for, you know? But um, honestly, at first I was like, I'm just gonna buy the car, cause I wanted the car. And I was greedy and stubborn and selfish. And then I was like, you know, maybe I should listen to my dad. I did bring him out here for a reason. So maybe I should listen to him and take in, heed his advice. Which thank God I did. Because we continued to look after that day. And there were, you know, I was getting angry and frustrated because I just wanted a car. And I was tired of being told no. But I did a little research and I end my ritual. I end the ritual with Yelahia, and I do some more research, and I don't really have any expectations, you know, I'm just doing what I told the angel that I would do, like continue to look for the car that I want, that I need, and not settle. Fast forward, long story short, I was pointed in the direction of a fantastic deal. I got this car, I don't know, 
where my viewers are in the world, but I got it from like this enterprise car sales. I mean, it was like 2018 Nissan Sentra. I mean, I my down payment wasn't that bad. Like the interest rate wasn't crazy. They really worked with me. And it was, I believe, the best deal I could have gotten on this car at the time. And my dad was happy with my choice, which really meant a lot to me because, you know, I wanted him, I brought him along. I wanted him to actually be happy with the decision I was making, you know, because it's an adult decision. And he was. And I was happy and I was so grateful, you know, and I got this car right before coronavirus started, thank God, because if I was having an Uber during all this, I would hate my life. As soon as I got the car, I knew, I knew it was Yalahia. I mean, I knew that he, that angel had something to do with my result because it felt surreal. It felt like it was too easy walking off the lot. I was like, are you sure? Like, are you sure we don't need to look at any more cars? But this, no, this was it. It was a done deal. It was sold. So again, thank you to Yalahia who has the power to manifest physical objects that we desire because he came through for me amazingly. And I am still grateful. Every day I get in my car, I am still grateful that I have this. And it hasn't even needed any maintenance. I actually, I got a flat not very long after using it, which was my bad, or driving it. Um, and I fixed that, but it was fine. <laughs> so that was my bad, not the car's bad. So Yolahia, thank you. I had much success with him. Probably the angel that I had the most physical, tangible success with. And there's one other that I'll talk about really quick. Lava L is the one that I used most recently. And I just opened his page. This angel, I'll read, I'll read all four of the descriptions that the angel has, the powers that he has to help us with. The first one is the power to generate love in another. Second is the power to be loved by friends and enemies. Third is the power to make good decisions. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the fourth is the power to obtain good memory and intelligence. So what I use this angel for is the power to make good decisions. Because lately, um, things always change. You know, life is always constantly changing. And it is a goal, it is a desire of mine to move out of the state that I am currently living in because Texas is hot as hell and I want to move up north at some point. It's always been a desire of mine to like live in New York City when I'm older because my parents live there and blah, 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 whatever. And I was at a, I was conflicted because some of my best friends were moving to another part of Texas, um, like three hours away. And I was sad because, you know, they're my best friends and they're leaving and growing and doing better things, you know, moving on with their lives. And so it's a happy thing, it's a good thing. But at the same time, you know, it's a little bit bittersweet because it's like, I can't just call you up for coffee anymore and be like, hey, let's go, let's go jam or let's go do whatever, you know, we gotta actually like plan it and drive three hours. So. There was a part of me that was thinking like, and my friends were like, we just move with me, you know, like move with us, it'll be fun. And I'm like, yeah, I should. So I considered moving to where they were moving, Austin, Texas, um, for a little bit. I prayed a lot about it. And I was like, you know, is this really the best thing for me? Because if I wanna move, I'd rather move out of state. So anyways, I had all these questions rolling around in my mind and I came to this book again, was pointed in the direction, and open up to the angel Lavel. And it's, which is spelled Lavel, but is pronounced Lavel with the extra syllable. And I used the one, the power to make good decisions, and I wanted this angel to help me just become more confident and clear about when and where I wanted to move. You know, if I was meant to move to Austin, if that was the best decision, then please let me be just completely discerning in that in that decision and completely confident and comfortable. So I did the ritual and you know 11 days later I and even in the process I just begin to think and talk talk it over with friends, you know, and and think about what I what it is I really want for me. Cuz yeah, it would be great to move closer to my friends and just be with them all the time, but and I could always move back realistically, but is that what my soul needs for growth? and for its own benefit. And ultimately the answer was no. And what Lava L did was open these pathways, these foggy areas where I couldn't see the right answer and, and give me this clarity that I needed about, about the answers I desired. Which, you know, I'm still not, I don't have like a date set in stone on when I want to move. I don't even know like 
when I'm moving yet, but he kind of just clarified my thought of, well, you know, I shouldn't do this for these reasons. I should do it for these reasons and, you know, and do this. And it just, it really just kind of took uh, some extra stress out of my brain. You know, just those extra thoughts we have that are really unnecessary, that are circling around and causing just, for me personally, causing anxiety and just extra crap that I'm like, I can't think because there's so much going on in my head. I, like I'll be at work thinking about 5 million different things when realistically, I don't need to be thinking about 4.9 million of those, you know? So I was appreciative for that angel as well. Although the results were not as directly, you know, it wasn't a tangible item sitting in my driveway that I had, but it was a thought or really a clarity of thoughts, which is just as much a desirable effect in some way. There's one more angel that I used and that I want to continue to work with because I'm a writer as well. Currently working on a um, fiction novel, which hopefully I will fin get finished by this year and can have published by next year or so. Um, so stay tuned. But Machio, the angel Machio I worked with last year, I believe. And it was my first, I think it was my first angel to work with. So I was a bit I was less com comfortable with doing the ritual. And, but it was to inspire ideas just with my writing. And I used him for a little bit and I did get some ideas. You know, I was inspired to write and think a little bit more creatively, but that is something that I want to continue to do and work on with my writing. There are 72 angels in here. Each angel having at least three or four different powers of their own to help you with. Like, let me flip to one. Okay, well, this is exactly, this is, I flipped, Ironically, I flipped to the powers of Aniel, and this angel is known to for the power to create good fiction. Maybe this is like a sign for myself to use this angel, actually. The power to create good fiction, the power to create art and music, the power to make wise people communicate. And that's just for one angel. And usually when you do this, you only do one power at a time. Um, you know, and it, don't get greedy. I mean, there are ways to do multiple, but but if you really want the full effect for one result, I would do it one at a time, even if it takes a little bit longer. Again, thank you to Yalahia and Lavael and Machiel for the work that you have and the results that you have done for me so far. And I look forward to the other angels that I will connect with in the future because they, it is a personal connection. And when you do connect with these angels, there are times when I feel it and there are times when I don't. There are times when I can feel the energy shift, you know, and it mostly depends on how in the sort of meditative state that I'm in. Because for those of us that do magic, you, I think you know what I mean when you say you get in that zone, you get in that mindset of, of stillness, of, of being in the moment, of, of feeling the magic and feeling the air around you. And you can feel when the atmosphere changes. And sometimes I'll get chills or sometimes I'll get an itch. And Spirit told me one time that when I feel itches like that, and like not always, not always, sometimes it is just like a hair, but it is Spirit trying to communicate with me. And so, and also, you know, there'll be times when the candles will flicker and just different things. You know, people, people experience these rituals differently. There's no right or wrong way. You know, the magic will still work even if you don't feel anything, which is hard to believe. But if you believe that it's not working, then it's really not going to. So it's important, no matter if you feel it or not, to believe that it works regardless. Um, so, you know, so that way you're prepared for results no matter what happens. So guys, this is getting to be one of my longer videos, but I really felt like I wanted to share all this information with you all. And I hope it was informative for you. And if anybody has worked with some angels out of 72 Angels of Magic or any other any other um, angel books out there, this is just the one, I believe, I think the one that I've worked with. If anyone else has results, please let me know what they are, how it worked. If any of y'all have watched my Servitor video, this is kind of like my remake. So after I tried to use um, a, a Servitor to find me the right car, which completely failed, and when watch one of my other videos, I'll also post a link to that. I turned to this book, which worked. So servitors, uh, angels, better. Not not to bash on servitors, because I I still will use servitors. I mean, it was just that one experience that kind of backfired and 
did not happen ex at all how I wanted it to happen. So, but they are helpful. And I recently bought the 40 Servants deck um, and I'm working on a daily ritual with that right now to get to know each of the servants. So whenever I am, whenever I am done with that, you know, I will start to work with those servants more, which are basically servitors as well. So I'll post a link to all those things I mentioned below. Um, and this is getting to be a little bit of a long video, but I hope it was helpful for you guys. And I hope you got your uh, fill of spirit alchemy for the day. So um, be safe, everyone. I know that this year is just weird. Like time is just flying by. Does anyone else freak out about time all the time? Or is it just me? Because I'm always like, how is time going by so fast? And then it just gets faster and faster and faster and faster. And I'm like, is this just gonna keep happening? Because I'm not okay with that. It doesn't ask us for permission, right? It just keeps going, so. Anyways, guys, y'all be safe. Continue to have a good 2020. Love everybody, even if it's hard to love the bitches sometimes and the assholes and the idiots, you know, but love everybody. I gotta tell myself this too, you know, I can't be a spiritual teacher and not practice spirituality and i do we do our best you know but we're only human and sometimes we get pissed off too so but today guys practice love practice peace practice just spreading joy you know and being honest and humble and loving and see what happens so i will talk to you guys later peace